Hello my dear friends assalamu alaikum and welcome back welcome back to top lesson for you dear friends as you know we are discussing about the blood supply of the abdominal viscera right so in the previous lecture uh, i have recorded about the branches of the celiac trunk okay so you can see here we have drawn the abdominal aorta this is the abdominal aorta right and this branch is our celiac trunk or celiac artery now from the celiac artery we knew that there were three branches the uh, right gastric artery i'm sorry the left gastric artery and the splenic artery right and this was the common hepatic artery these branches i have discussed already in the previous lectures you can go and watch those to have a clear concept about the branches of the celiac trunk now in this lecture i'm going to discuss about the second big branch which arises from the abdominal aorta and this big branch is our superior mesenteric artery right so i'll write shortly here this is our superior mesenteric artery okay done so in this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, the superior mesenteric artery and all its branches you can see on the left side of me on the white board these branches i will show you and discuss all these and on our right side you can see i have drawn the same artery to show you the the posterior aspects and the anterior aspects these artery right so let us move forward and uh, discuss about the branches and everything about the superior mesenteric artery clear so what is first of all we should know what is superior mesenteric artery clear friends so we know that look carefully we know that if this is our diaphragm right so from the diaphragm beneath the diaphragm inferior to it there is our abdominal aorta right so from abdominal aorta there are first two branches the small branches and these are called the inferior phrenic arteries okay and then from the abdominal aorta there is a big artery which arises and this big artery is called our celiac trunk the first big branch is called the celiac trunk clear and then there is the second big branch which arises from anterior aspects of the abdominal aorta that is our superior mesenteric artery sma right and then inferior to it there is another big branch and this will be discussed in the future lecture that is called the inferior mesenteric artery inshallah we will see all the branches of it also in the coming lectures so we are going to discuss about this branch so what is this uh, superior mesenteric artery yeah you can say it is the second major branch which arises from the anterior aspects of the abdominal aorta clear friends so let me write here this is our superior mesenteric artery what is superior mesenteric artery the second major branch the second major branch right of what of abdominal aorta clear friends okay we know it the second major branch of the abdominal aorta is called the superior mesenteric artery and from where does it arise it arises from it arises from abdominal abdominal aorta right we know it so it arises from the abdominal aorta then we say at which level does it arises it arises at level of l1 lumbar vertebra number 1 let me make the diagram here this is our uh, this is a person standing this is his thoracic cavity and then this is his abdominal cavity right so here he is he has his abdo, uh, lumbar Uh, vertebrae right so this artery will arise 
from the abdomen this is this is the diaphragm right so there is your abdominal aorta so this artery arises from abdominal aorta at the level of l1 right you consider that this person is standing like this right so this art this is our l1 this artery arises at the level of l1 just one centimeter yeah we can say also one centimeter one cm inferior to inferior to celiac trunk so inferior to celiac trunk one centimeter inferior to celiac trunk here is our celiac trunk and then there is the superior mesenteric artery so one centimeter inferior to uh, celiac trunk this artery arises right and the length of this artery this uh, the superior mesenteric artery the length is about uh, uh, 5.4 centimeter 5.4 centimeter right its length when it arises and then gives the first branch its length becomes up from here up to here then it gives the first branch and the second branch and other branches this length becomes about 5.4 centimeter and the diameter of this artery the diameter of superior mesenteric artery is from 0 0.4 0 0.4 to 0 0.8 centimeter it makes the its diameter right friends okay so this was a little bit information about the superior mesenteric artery very little bit uh, here we say a trunk now what is the course of this artery then we will see the branches don't worry what is the course of this artery so you can see here this artery arises from the anterior aspects of the abdominal aorta and then goes anterior inferiorly right if this is our abdominal aorta look carefully and this artery arises from it so this artery goes anterior inferiorly right this artery goes anterior inferiorly so it comes like this anterior inferiorly okay then then what does it do then when it comes uh, this artery when arises it moves anterior inferiorly okay anterior inferiorly where does it go it goes behind the neck and the head of the pancreas right so behind neck and head of pancreas okay and anterior to this is the course of this artery it's not important but we should know it anterior to renal veins done so this is a little bit about the course of this artery so when this artery arises from the abdominal aorta it goes it comes anterior inferiorly right behind the neck of the uh, uh, behind the neck and the head of the pancreas right look if this is our pancreas right clear so this artery arises this is our abdominal aorta this artery arises from it and goes behind the uh, yeah behind the or posterior to the head and neck of the pancreas and then comes down like this clear friends so this was about the course of this artery a little bit now let us move towards the branches of this artery first of all let me clear all those branches there then we will discuss each branch in detail look carefully friends let us focus our camera here this is our superior mesenteric artery so when the superior mesenteric artery arises it gives off its first branch which is called the common pancreatoduodenal artery i will discuss it then when it when we little move down inferiorly 
there is the second branch which arises from it and this branch is not completely shown here this branch is shown here you can see this one this is called the middle colic artery and i will discuss it uh, a little bit later right then when you come uh, further down you can see all these jejunal and ileal branches which arise from it so i will discuss all these branches too clear then on the right side of the body there are the uh, yeah this is the right colic artery clear and then this is the uh, iliocolic artery which goes to the ilium and to the colic or the large intestine right and then from it there are other branches we will see all these branches in detail so let us discuss about the branches of the superior mesenteric artery clear friends let's see in the next lecture